Right, well, I've guys got my gloves on because I've got a few cuts on my hands. Cooking today, we're going to make a nice big fish pie. This is the. Any leftovers, we'll probably I make two, but this is the ceramic tin I've got. Old fashioned tins, these lovely pie, pie dishes, but make lovely fish pie tins. We're going to have plenty of mix now. People come in. I'll just finish filleting this fish while people come in. Who's going to be first to comment, guys? Let's see who's going to be first to comment. <clears throat> Just fill it in some fish, so... Always make sure you've got a sharp knife, guys. And you fill it in. I'm going to be skinning some fish in a minute, and I'll don't want the skin on it when we're doing it. Potatoes are on, cooking. We've put the potatoes on, we've um, soaked them for a few, few bits. With some cold water, then we swirl that water out and we'll put them back on again with hot water. Nice kettle water to speed up the process of heating up. There's the can go in the waste for the compost. Dab fillets going in these. These are lovely dab fillets. Nice fillets. Nearly all this fish that we're putting in here is all being caught by myself. So yeah, we've caught more practically everything except for the smoked haddock. We didn't catch that. But the cod, the sea bass, the trout, we've got smoked trout, we've got trout, sea trout, that being caught by myself and all. Let's have a look and skin these fish. So you're not seeing much of this part of this job. But yeah, we are cooking. Hang on. Let me just turn it up a little bit so you can make it see a little bit more of me fill it in. What we got? Um Certainly is on we're cooking. Now wait the taters are cooking nicely, I've put some but boiled potatoes in there. So yeah. Just give me a second.
Right then. Yeah, I'm good, mate. I'm having banging times. I'm just um, skinning these fish. Just skinning these little. These dab fillets, I'm just skinning them ready for the, the, the mitt to go in. I'm not very thick these dab fillets, but dabs like the thickest of fish anywhere. There's the skin. But yeah. But we're all we're all getting your comments are becoming a bit fast so I'll try and get the best you can. Good evening Castor's Wells fishing. Evening mate. Yeah, all good. We're making a big fish pie. So, we're making fish pie today with all the fish that we've caught. It's all freshly caught by myself. I'm going to go through this, through the actual process of how I make my own super fish pie. We're just skinning the fish at the moment. Lovely. I don't want skin in my fish pie. Have a chat amongst yourselves while I just get this bit done. That's one to go on that. Shout out to Shane, the old nuts cod father. I think he's been having a bit of too much hanky panky, he's done his backing again. And yeah, there's been. Well, I've done his back in, so I was going to go do some fishing today, but I'm, I'm glad we had not really, because my back's not been the same. My back's shite. Might get a bit steamy because of that. I'll turn that down. Turn that down and move the all that way so it's not blasting. So got some little fillets there. I'm gonna chop this onion up in a minute. Yeah, my back shot, his back shot, he's been probably a hanky panky eye on. I had not like that, yeah. Don't know, mate. I'm having fish pie though, so. Right, just gonna. Thanks to Les, he gives me the smoked haddock. My mate Les. I swap him like sea bass skate stuff like that and he gives me some, some cod I'm not a big fan of cod but I give him my cod 
I have me I do eat it, don't get me wrong, I like my cod, but not as much as my see my smoked haddock and that. So hold the knife to the bottom of the board, keep it on an angle. It's easy to skin fish if you know what you're doing. Just be careful, always have a sharp knife. Nice pieces. Putting up the meat into chunky pieces. There's the skins going in the recycle bowl. Nice chunky pieces of that. Same again with the haddock, smoked haddock, it's been in the freezer, it's just defrosted. Come down. Nice pork, I like a bit of pork. Slow cooked, so it all falls apart when you, you know, your knife and fork. Keep that on there and just peel, peel it back like that. There's your skin. It's easy enough to skin fish if you know what you're doing, like I said. Practice makes perfect and a sharp, lovely knife. Make sure your knife's very sharp. Probably going to be way too much fish in this pie, but there'll be way too much fish. But yeah, no worries, man. Good afternoon mates, good afternoon pal. Right, I'm going to tip all the fish in there for now. Pop 
probably going to be way too much fish in this pie, but I love it. Can't beat a fish pie, man. It's Shern, and if you're in Shern, even in Shern, if you're in evening, I'm just uh, one minute. Skins off the cot. More fish going in. We've got smoked haddock. Natural smoked haddock. We've got dabs. We've got sea bass. We've got scallops. And we've got fresh sea, tr sea trout, which I caught myself. Friday, caught a few sea trout, some real nice ones in a secret spot I can't mention because people have gone mad because it's a top spot and I'm, the guy I went with, my mate John, he would shoot me, trust me he would. He's got his guns and his licenses and that so, no I ain't saying, but yeah, caught fresh sea trout, decent sized ones. So I can't really say where we were but we had good bass and um, yeah, mix of fish. Just cutting up the cod that I caught. Fresh cod. Probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good evening, Shed. Nice sea bass fillets, these are what we've caught, fresh, so we can't complain at them, the lovely size sea bass fillets. Freshly filleted yesterday morning. So yeah. Lovely chunky sea bass fillets. Sea bass fillets going in. Yes, yeah, lovely, proper nice sea bass fillets, mate. 
You have to start catching some and take some home, mate. We did. Friday we hammered it. I mean, the lovely size sea bass fillets have been cut. I've had to trim them up into size, sizable pieces, like. Yeah, plenty. I can't see all your comments at once, but yeah, because I'm not on a small screen. But yeah, have have a chat amongst yourselves while I'm doing this. I mean, they're not exactly small pieces, guys. They're nice chunky pieces. I like. Chunky pie pieces. Certainly big fat chunky pieces in my pie. I don't want none of that bloody shite. Shite small, small, small parts. Right, we better start putting the back, back, back pan on in a minute. I had sea bass for the, I mean sea trout for the first time yesterday, guys. I never had sea trout, so yeah, it was really nice. I only had a little back end piece to try out, but yeah, it was gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, but no, look at that, look at them sea bass, sea trout fillets. There was. Bigger than that, but I've had, these are just cut down. So this is the tail end, and it was right good size fillets. So we're gonna get that um, strip back skin off. Love this size sea, sea, sea trout fillets. So we're going to skin it. You all know how to skin fish, or most of you will do anyway. No, none for Vern. None for Vern, it's all my beast. But yep. Yeah. I can't see all your comments at once, but yeah, I'm just gonna skin this. Just gonna skin this sea trout. There's a skin, sea trout skin. Nice. What we got? But no, certainly there's going to be a few bones in this. He did say there would be some bones. Big shout out to uh, Landlock Sea Fishing. Oh, 
Felix. Lovely. Big shout out to me mate, Rob. Nice one, at least you're getting some out of the river, it's not too bad. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, Jesus. But I got a lot of cuts from the sea, sea bass and stuff. Certainly, um, I should wear my gloves when I'm taking them off, but it was good size and they were flapping like hell, as you can see, there's cuts on my arm. Some very deep gashes I got, man. <laughs> Might be the odd palm. Just gonna have a go flip through it now. I can't see any bone. They said there might be some bones in these when we filleted them. So you might have missed some. Yeah, there's like a fill a couple in there. But I'm, um, I don't like bones. Put me off. Get a nice piece of fish and you find a bone in it, puts you off. Well, that'll do, mate. I'll make two pies actually out of that. I'll make enough filling. Right, take my gloves off now because I've nearly done what I want to do. That cuts all over that. Gashes. <laughs> No, I certainly am. Good evening to everybody that's come on. Come round for tea if you want, Shane. It's a nice tea in here. It's a lovely bit of tea. Welcome round for tea, Shane. Anytime you heard that, guys, I, I welcomed him round. So, if there's anyone even here in this video, I never welcome me round for tea. I've put it out there, he's welcome for come round for dinner. See, now we want an onion, chop it down the middle.
you don't want to chop the onion up, you just want to put two onions in a pan. <laughs> yes, yeah, get round quick. There's a full pan of fish. Right. What you want to do is turn that back, that thing on. Milk. I've got cream to go in. So I pull the milk. So you want your sauce. About half of that, maybe a quarter gone. Let the onions soak in. That should be enough for the sauce. Pepper. Pinch of pepper. Great salt. There you go, Ben. Ben, Ben, if he wants to come for a tea, you're both welcome. Don't say I don't offer. Nice bit of salt. Get the sea salt, much better, guys. Just got some salt in my cup. Put it out. As soon as that starts to simmer, we have the cream. I might have a video out tomorrow. If it'll look low tonight. It's the presentation for the fishing competition that I was at work. I've got the presentation on the So yeah, I won't tell you where I came, but let's just say I got a medal, she's hanging up, I did get a medal, so you can work that out, cream, I did put the cream around, no, I did get the cream, where did I put the cream? I've lost my cream now. I bought cream. Good, 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 good. I don't know if it's still in my mouth. That was in that bag. Oh, bugger it. We'll find that in a minute. What's going on on here? We're looking forward. Yep, that's the presentation, so that'll be out maybe tomorrow, if I can do it with the internet that I use is shite for Vodafone, it takes forever, but I'll try and get it uploaded. Just trying to find the cream. I'm sat in the fridge all along, guys. Scallops. Get the scallops chopped up. You might not be a fan of scallops, you might be, but I think scallops are beautiful. Even the rows are nice. Scallop rows, I like them too, so bang them in. All you do is just chop the scallops in half. Chop the scallops in half. So oh, look. It's 
scallop rolls. Unfortunately, I never caught the scallops. But yeah, we'll see where I came. You'll have to watch it. It has a, it has a twist. Put it that way. It has a twist in this um, video of where I came and why. But you'll have to wait and see. If it will upload. So I mix all them scallops up. Alright, that looks like it's going to be up to a boil. We're all in boil. It's up to you how much cream you add into your stock into the mix for you. but I'm going to add half of this double cream or oh, half uh, there's no measurements in this recipe you just make your own up as it goes along well there is recipe there is measurements but I can't find the recipe paperwork lemon for later on but yeah, I can't really find the recipe. It's a family recipe. I've had for years and I lost the recipe sheet. I dare ask for it back. <laughs> so I know what I'll get. But yeah, get out, guys. Yeah, scallops are real nice. Certainly, yeah, I love them, me, man. Mix your fish up. But no, we've been having some nice cod in this spot, but we can't film. It don't let you film her out. It's, it don't let you have pictures of where we are or out. It's a top top spot, honestly. Sea trout, bass, cod. You'll name it, we'll be hammering them out, but you can't make videos there. Not while you're with him anyway. I wouldn't want to spoil it for everyone, you know. Spoil it for the guy who found that spot. It's not for me to say. But yeah, certainly I've salted the the potatoes have been salted, they're probably done, I'll turn them off for now, I'm going to boil that, I won't salt the fish because there'll be salt going, there's already salt and pepper in there, put some salt and pepper and the onions are just for flavour, there's actually way too much fish here, I've got to, I've decided I might, I'll put some in the fridge, I'm not going to put all this in there. No, it's too much. I'll make two. I'll make two lots. can get in a one of them bags. But yeah. We're all on fish. I won't do all that fish because I've really learned. There's way too much there for me. I'll make another portion later. Saying that, it's quite a deep thing. Maybe I might put some more in. I don't know.
Ooh, what do we think guys? Comment down below. <laughs> Certainly on the scoff farmer, but yeah, just fish it. What do we think? More fish? It's quite a deep, deep piter in. I put quite a lot in already. It's going to be a right mad mix though. Just debating. Oh, I'll go on then. Put it all in. And then again, it, no, not actually. I just put a bit, bit extra. Then flatty fillets. Flounder fillets, lovely little fillets of flounder, not flounder dabs, real sweet them dabs. Right, right that'll go. Yeah, actually, yeah, I better not overfill it because I remembered it was full to the top with the meat, wasn't it? I better not overfill it. Better not overfill these things. I'm a bugger for making big portions of things and overfilling. So the fish is cooking nice at the back. As soon as it starts flaking then you know to take it out. You don't want to go too much on your fish. You don't want it overcooking and it flakes too flaky. But no, you don't want to go mad. Put that in the fridge. That's another pie. Um, don't know Shane, maybe, yeah, you know me, I'm just the next, I'll just uh, pop whenever I pop, don't I, sometimes. Uh, when, Tuesday, Wednesday working, maybe Wednesday night I might get a session, but John normally invites me to go to his secret spot and ram that, ram that with some nice fish out of there, but um, otherwise, no, we'll work some out, yeah, Shane, we'll have a go, get you back better though, man. So I'm putting out the putting out the shout out for everyone. Who's got the best fish pie? We'll have to have a fish pie competition. Along with the whiting competition that we'll be we, we have every year. Fish cakes. You're only allowed to use whiting in your fish cakes and whatever other ingredients, but no. Only one lot of fish. But yeah, sure, nice one man. We'll work some out as we do, pal. Don't waste the onion, I know, you don't put the onion in the dish apparently. Apparently to my recipe you take the onion out but I'll eat the onion me mate after that. It's been nice and soft. It's all falling apart already. Just about nearly ready this. Let's check the mashed potatoes. Get the knife, and if it goes in easy, you know they're cooked. They was cooked in like 10 minutes then bad boys. So, strain your potatoes. Be careful guys. I don't need to tell you that they're going to be hot, do I? I think you all need to know that, that you're going to be hot. But yeah, we'll certainly sort some out, man. Certainly. Let's 
So we're going to take the little turkeys out, the hot bug, ah, hot, hot bastard turkeys. Let's just take them little turkeys out. They're going on the side. Burning my fingers. Oh. Cook them all with the same dish. <laughs> mm. No salt needed in that mash. Taste it already. Well, that's nice. That's almost ready to take out. We'll give that a few minutes. Mmm. Got me. Yeah, somebody told me about putting the, the egg yolk, but in our recipe it doesn't have the the egg yolk in my, my mash. doesn't have that. I can remember most of it, and it doesn't have it. And if my mum watches this, and my sister will be watching somewhere, I'll, put, I'll be in, in, the, in the niche. You know, I'll get shot down for putting an egg yolk in there. I'll get a right shout in it. You've got to make the recipe as it, as it was, handed down. So I better not pour it out, you know. She, she knows what it's like, you know. He'll tell you. Can't, can't, gotta follow the recipe. The recipe said add cream. It said add double cream. Milk, splash of milk, certainly do share, um, butter, get another thing for the butter. Not playing around guys, man, that's what you goes in it. We don't play around when it comes to making making stuff. Right, that can come off the boil. That can be turned off and out. Let me know what you think guys of these, uh, if you like these catch and cooks. Take care Carl if you're up, whoever's off, I can't see after time, I'm just doing that at the same time. Carl, see you later Carl.
Right. Just a tiny bit of water just to sort them up. You're angry, you know, bash it out. Bash it, bash out. Do you like a little bit of lumps in your uh, mash or do you not? Do you like smooth? I don't mind it too. So a little bit of lumpy. As long as it's not in my underpants I'm alright. I'll share that one. He'll like that one. Test this mash. Ha ha ha! Too hard, right, though, Shane. There was nearly lumps in that one, but there was nearly serious lumps, kid. <laughs> Not many lumps in that. Oh. Don't need no salt, that. Wow, I like some banging. If it was me, I'd bang some cheese in, but it's the recipe. I'll put some cheese on top, like, but I'll bang some in there. That's nicer. Oh, man, I'm getting hungry now. That was nearly a lumpy session, that, Shane. No, no, that one, that one, that one, that was a different one with Shane. Shane, he nearly had some lumps in his pants. That that fart was then. That was a different session. That the one with the lumps. That was Shane. He's, you know, he's like he's got problems with his bowels. Like we all have some, and he he nearly had some lumps. But yeah, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> he only just made it. Yeah. Well, the other was. Some people walking by, I'm sure someone saw her. <laughs> Hello? What are you doing in there? I'm not paving on you or out. I'm just um, just having a little stop. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, that made me laugh that day. We had a right laugh. Honestly, there was nearly lumps there, man. That was so funny. Might put a bit of pepper in me. A little bit of pepper on top. I don't normally have a bit of pepper in my mash. Just salt. Right. So let's drain this, put this fish in here, I'm going to take the onion out, the dish don't require the onion now, it's non-required, it's done its job, it'll still get eaten the onion, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to waste an onion. These chefs might be able to waste on the but I will
Yeah, that's all the onion. Need to get an extractor fan in here, it's steamed up. Oh, wipe the windows now, I can't see out the window. Need an extractor fan. And he was bent down in the bush and someone came by him and it was funny So, Right. Look at that fish guys. Oh you can just smell that now man. It's got a banging smell. You don't want to poach it too long, but you don't want to poach it too short. I think that was when you forgot your water, Shane, and all. So I don't know which one you was gagging more for. A Tom Tit or, you, or a drink. But yeah, I had plenty of bottles of water and you should have come across quicker and I'd have give you a couple of bottles, mate. I had two. I brought a few bottles of water with me. He forgot his, but yeah, it was a funny one, man. We had a laugh. Oh, good job, Vermont there, Shane, because he'd have been out there with the camera. He'd have been in that bush filming you in that bush. You know what he's like. I'm going to get all the little bits out of there. Yeah, he wouldn't have got up there quicker, would he, Shane? <laughs> I don't know, but he would have got you that, that van. I know he would have. What are you doing in there, Shane Innocent? Tell your viewers. Right, there we go guys, look at that. There's plenty of fish in there, so I'm going to drain that bit of stock out for now. That little last bit of the fish. Doesn't need to be in there right now. It's alright for a little bit in there, but... Turn away, what have I got? Now we're going to make a roux guys, we're making a roux, if you've enjoyed this video don't forget the thumbs up and all that this live stream, give us some thumbs up guys, check on the thumbs up and stuff, thanks, it's nice of you to all join, whoever's come in, thanks a lot for everyone coming in like, it's much appreciated for our work out.
if I can't get a video out, I'll do a live stream at least for a bit. I mean, it's over an hour now, guys. I've done all right, really. Well, I might put a bit of chilli in there. I have a couple of drops. I don't think I should do, but Shane would enjoy this. It's only mild, I think, though. Shane would be saying, oh, get it all in there. He loves his chilli, that's Shane. I couldn't. Just a couple of drops, I think. That one in the recipe, I'll get told off for that. I want a bit of heat there, at least. Right then. Now, let's pile the mash up. Scoop the mash, I need that pan. I have to get some more pans. Gonna be loads of mash. Probably a bit too much mash, but we can always eat some. I love a portion of mash. There's plenty of mash there. Probably too much as I've just said, but I love it. Chef's packs, finger job. Bang him. Yeah, I think we all have a meet up. It'd be brilliant for everyone just to come and have a meet up. Just gonna wash this out a sec. Just gonna turn that pan back on. So now, bang the pan on the hob. We're going to have mushy peas, like uh, not mushy peas, garden peas. So just Morrison's standard brand peas. 
We're going to have some of those bad boys. Certainly it'd be a right good time for us all to meet, so get that really hot. I'm going to make a rule now. Don't buy any rules or out from shops. Let's just make our own. Now it's up to you guys how much butter you put in and stuff to make your roux. Yep, being out testing the old Ron Thompson accelerator, the new one. Bargain that was. 75 quid and I got it for free in a sense because I found something else so I've got some videos of the casts coming out soon testing that out I'm going to put this turn that down right So yeah, you want a nice ball of rope. So make your own, man. It's not bad. It's not a bad rod. It's only a 6 out of 10 for me, though. Just 6 out of 10 right now. See how it handled them trout and that. Sea trout and the bass. It did alright. Got both versions. Right, that's ready. Now all we need to do is slowly add the milk in to the roux. It's good when you can make your own stuff. Certainly the old version's amazing, honestly. Proper casting rod, the old version. That's a shame what I can put out, what I can do with the old version. Pretty unbelievable. Hey, if you're watching Sean, I know Sean will be watching, he likes watching these. Sean from. I know. Get your head down, Sean. <laughs> yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
rest of that milk how to break sort that pad so it'll take your eye off your root take your eye off and then you'll end up But yeah, a nice rod for casting though, it's not bad. I was putting out a lead that distance where we were. Staring that till it thickens up, and there's your sauce. Mm -hmm. nice, nice mash. So tempting to eat it all, man. But no, nearly done anyway. We'll show you the finished products in a minute. We'll just get this done. Thank you all for sticking with me, guys and girls. A little bit of spice in there. It's much appreciated. I'm on your small channel, but I try and do a bit of everything, you know. I just try and keep people active and keep the mental health at bay by talking to each other and doing these streams so you can all have a chat with each other. That's all I do it for you, so you guys can talk to each other like me. I can talk to you all. And yeah, we can all chat with each other. And we're not thinking we're on our own. Because you're not on your own. It does smell nice, that, mate. Shit. Wish you had smell a vision because you'd be in heaven. It's going to be a little bit too much of this sauce, but don't forget, I'm going to make another pie. So, yeah. It's certainly thickening up this now really nice. But as I said, a problem shared is a problem halved. So if you're feeling down and I'm doing the live stream, come along and it's we all chat to each other and we all get to spend a bit of time talking to each other and you, you don't feel so isolated because you can do. Living on your own and stuff, I feel isolated quite a lot of the time. I feel lonely. I feel really isolated. But Thanks to Joanne, she's helping me. Thanks to Joanne, if you're watching Joanne, I mean you're amazing. My new girlfriend, she's really supportive of me and she really helps. I support her, she supports me with the help and that. We support each other and she's always there for a chat and I'm the same with her. I chat. I'm off to meet her this month, so... Good luck guys for me, because I'm off to meet her this month, I can't wait. This is thickening up real nice. But I can't wait to meet you Joanne, you're amazing. Yeah, Joanne, dinner's ready. I don't think she likes fish for some reason. I tried to get her 
into trying to get into a fishing, but we'll see. She's never been, so she's like, oh, I don't like. Well, you can't like something if you've never been and done it, so it might work, guys. Bit of support, we'll get we'll get there. She'd love it. Can't wait to go and meet her though, just for the want to book an hotel and that in it where she lives and come and see her. Right, um, shake that bit of honey That bit can go. But yeah, can't work. Yeah, man. If you're out there, man, good luck on you, whatever you're doing. Just gonna straighten this a little bit. Just a few little bits of lumps. Yeah, Shane, a few lumps. Make some more. This will come on. So I right take through this, man. Well, I can't wait to meet meet you, Joanne. I'll put that away. Put that for the next portion. I know everyone's ready for their dinner now, making everybody hungry. Certainly. Evening, Van. Cheers, Van. Yeah, certainly I'm, mate. I made everything myself, in a sense. Caught nearly every part of the fish, except for the smoked haddock. I caught the sea trout. I caught the cod. I caught the fillets of the little flounders or whatever. I caught everything, really. Now we need to salt and pepper this. Bit too much pepper, but I'm not a fan of pepper, but. Whoa, that's got some smarty pepper there, hasn't it? Can you salt in that, man? Have a taste of that in a minute. You miss Vern, I don't think, I think he's still on. But, yeah.
<laughs> Made all the own sauce and everything, man, the roux. I have then in a top secret place, which I can't mention because I get shot, and I mean I will get shot. The guy's got guns, mate, John, and he'll shoot me. You can't talk about this spot, but we was catching sea trout, bass, cod. It's a really good spot. And I know we've got a spot, but this is a secret spot. No one can know, except for me and him. I get shot if I, if I, I'll get shot. So, all the fish that I've caught in here is going to be, yeah, worse than Vern if I, if I tell out about Vern, you know, if I say, oh, we're here, you know, he's worse than you, Vern, this guy. <laughs> he's a good lad, though, John. Certainly, let me just pour this roux into the dish. Wow, this is look. Probably gonna want some more, but start off with a little and a little bit. the rest of that for later on for the next pie. Father missed. But yeah, that's all. Cut that fresh fish pie man. Now let's get the main main dish concocted dropped a bit of this let's concoct let's get this mash spread over the top mash has cooled down a bit now I should have had it hot Mash should have been piped on, but I don't pipe it, I just sip it on. I think there's going to be just enough mash here. I have to make some more now.
fake mash that now. Creamy juicy mash. That's banging. Sounds like it's raining out there, guys. In the Wow, that is nice. Good sharp knife is what you need, guys. Watch your fingers. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> I did Vans trick, mate. Look at that. Hot 99p. 89p should have. 98p, man. Full block of cheese, 98p. Then, good job, Vern didn't see that. I'd have pulled. It had grabbed onto my pants, pulled them down so I couldn't run. And he'd have been in there. I know what he's like. He's a right runner, that Vern. Especially when they're running for the half price stuff. <laughs> He's in there like, come on, got to get to the stuff quick. <laughs> yeah, man, quality cheese. You two would have been legging it to the to, to get some cheese. <laughs> Man would have loved it. It'd have been in there like a right madman. Let's have a bite. Salty. Mmm, that's nice. Now this is an optional guys, but... What should I got? I only got one because I, I like greedy. I like a bit of cheese on top. That's optional. Mmm, that is nice. He would have done, yeah, there was loads of cheese. I only grabbed one because I don't see the point of running in like they do and then start snatching and fighting over a bit of reduced cheese and shit. I, I only get what I need, but I suppose I could have got a couple and grated it and I'll shove one in the freezer. I don't know if you can freeze cheese. But yeah, one's enough. I'm not greedy. I'll give some other greedy cunt a chance to get some. You know what they're like, fucking hell. It's like the granny's getting in the queue at the post office for the pension. They're in there like fighting like hell to get to the front of that queue. I it. Proper fighting just to get to that queue. Nah, not me. Bugger that. But yeah. 
There we go. That's a nice cheese that. Oven preheated now. That is. Preheat to 100 de 150 degrees. I think it's degrees. So 100, about 150 Fahrenheit. Preheat, then shove it up to 200. Shove it in there for half an hour. About 200 maybe. Mm, one and a half, something like that. And you'll have a beautiful pie. Fish pie. Prepared live in front of you all as not pre-cooked stuff all prepared right in front of you just put them in the sink but yeah so heavy pile let's size that big bad boy pie not don't do ass in this family in my we do proper portions from Yorkshire, we're not scrimpy. Certainly man, these pans are vintage, proper cut pies in them man. But yes, yeah, you know, full portions from Yorkshire. That vernies, only short portions of any shape. One carrot, one pea, one chop. Where we are, where we're proper Yorkshire men. Yorkshire? Yeah, we do proper pies. We put more than we need in there. So. Oh, if you had smell vision guys, you'd be in heaven. Bang that in the oven. Half hour. And then that's done. I'm off in a set. Where's my drink gone? No advertising but tango, fruit mate, banging. That onion's that right, Tron? Okay, it's very milky and fishy. Try it. What are them potatoes like? Mm, they're nice too. A bit of butter in there, salt. Helps if you take the lid off. So, put some peas on in a minute and that's it. What we miss? <laughs> but yeah, we have proper portions, as you say, poor. <laughs> but yeah brilliant dinner is served so put some peas on the side and some new potatoes and that's it got the new potatoes nice full tin of peas to myself do not garden peas as a standard yeah green peas nothing fancy mate I don't you know when they say to you oh you get the you get them peas in the tins are like one pound summer. One pound summer for a tin of peas. I'm sure they're the same peas as these, man. These are just a tin of peas. Uh, that team pea. And you're paying a pound for a tin of peas. And when you look at them, if you was to open the top up, they both look the exact same. How are you telling me that the pound peas are better than the 19 peas when they both look the same? I don't know. No, I skinned it. 
proper skinned all my own fish, chopped it up, skinned it, all the skins in there, cod skins, haddock skins, flounder skins, dab skins, a lot, sea trout skins, all in there to go to the compost and all. But yeah, it was good. I enjoyed this. It's been nice for a chat to, to catch up with everybody. It's really been nice. Really enjoyed it, so yeah. Hope ever. I've got a nice Dover saw. I forgot to put a Dover. I was going to put that Dover saw in. I caught a nice Dover saw, so I was going to stick that in there. Yeah, can't go wrong like that, man. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I do peas are peas to me, man. Go nice with the fish. <laughs> I don't know, guy. I'm gonna squ squeeze a nice bit of lemon when they're done. Nice bit of lemon over the top. It's going to be banging. And I already see that crisping up in there. It's going to be nice. Right, I'm going to go talk to Joanne because she's just messaged me. I'm having another one of these. Not sponsored by Tango at all. Tango, sponsor me. I like your drinks. Give me some sponsorship and I'll have a Tango rod. I'll stick some Tango stickers on it. But no, it's been brilliant for everyone that come and watched for a bit. Just to have a chat with people and see how everyone's doing. Yeah, it's tough. We all go through all these tough spells and that. But I thought, well, I'll do a live stream to cheer. To even cheer a few people up and see how things are going. Check in with everybody. Let them know I'm all right. And yeah, it's been good. I've really enjoyed it. So it's nice to see people come on and just have a chat and a laugh. It's it's not serious. We all talk to each other. We involve each other. Yeah, those are the best days. It's certainly raining outside. I can hear it now coming down from the window. Good job we ain't gone fishing then. But yeah, because top tower was five o'clock today, just after five, I think. Yep, see you later then, I'm off myself now, just thought I'd check in, say goodbye to everyone, it's been a good stream, thanks for everyone, don't forget to leave your thumbs up before you leave and all that guys, thanks a lot, take care Shane, we'll catch up during the week, we'll sort some out, if it's good, and yeah, we'll have a session, we'll get some of them cod, we'll get them cod showing, but there's too many crabs at the moment, but we'll sort some out, and yeah, Thanks for everyone for coming along, much appreciated. You know, I'll try and get that video out in a bit. I'll go and have a look, I'm trying to put it out. But thanks to everybody that came, much appreciated. Take care now, guys. Stay safe. Thanks a lot, Shane. Yep. Certainly. Cheers, casters. Big shout out to you, mate. Go and check him out, go and subscribe. Wow. See you later everybody, just give you everyone a chance to say bye to each other as they do. Give everyone a chance before... Will do. Alan's Will do right. Peace out to everyone. Take care now. Stay safe.